Okay, I'm very sure that many of us might not like the information in this video. I mean, some of us might be very annoyed after hearing this because personally, I didn't feel so good when I came across this. The countdown to NVIDIA's RTX 50 series announcement is on, and if you watched our previous videos, you'd see that some leaks are pouring in. But this time, we're not talking about specs, we will be talking about something that really made me wonder if these companies really want to carry everyone along, or they just want to dump some of their users who might be a little broke. Let's talk about the pricing. A YouTuber named Vex claims to have some insider info, and if these leaks are true, we might be looking at a repeat or even worse of the pricing drama from the last generation. So I'm gonna warn you gamers, this info might sting a little. Vex says they got their hands on a screenshot from an Australian retailer listing multiple Asus RTX 5080 cards. The screenshot reveals basic specs and, most importantly, the pricing. According to the leak, the Asus Prime GeForce RTX 5080 16GB OC card comes with a hefty price tag. The retailer reportedly pays $2,544 Australian dollars to Asus for each card, while the consumer price is set at $2,799 Australian dollars. Before you panic, let's convert that to US dollars real quick. Based on current exchange rates, the retailer's cost translates to around $1,581 US dollars, and the final sale price is about $1,740. Now keep in mind that Australian prices include sales tax, which isn't typically included in US pricing. Still, $1,740 for an RTX 5080 is a lot to swallow, especially for a card rumored to perform just slightly better than the RTX 4090, or possibly on par with it. That's really not the kind of money I'll be happy to splash on the 5080 graphics card, honestly. Catch! Gun! The RTX 5080 is expected to come with 16 gigabytes of VRAM, aligning with earlier leaks. However, there's no clarity yet on whether Nvidia will use faster VRAM modules. The leaked listing specifically mentions an overclocked version, meaning standard and founder's edition versions of the card could be cheaper. For perspective, the RTX 4080 debuted at $1,200, and many gamers found that steep. Nvidia later addressed the pricing issue with the RTX 4080 Super, launching it at $1,000. But now, if Nvidia prices the RTX 5080 anywhere between $1,200 and $1,500, it might reignite the backlash. Interestingly, this isn't the first pricing rumor for the RTX 5080. A leaked Acer Predator Orion PC listing showed the version with an RTX 5080 priced at $3,640. While that's for a full system and not just a GPU, it further hints at a premium pricing strategy for Nvidia's next-gen lineup. There's a sliver of hope though, Nvidia's official MSRP might be more reasonable. Third-party board partners like Asus often add a markup, especially for overclocked models. The Founders Edition and non-OC cards should cost less, which could soften the blow for gamers. All eyes are on January 6th, when Nvidia will officially reveal the RTX 5080 and its pricing. Will it be another sticker shock moment, or will Nvidia learn from the RTX 4080's misstep? Only time will tell. <laughs> 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 